Hey bitch, it's me again. What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm making a more serious video, I guess. Which I suck at because I suck at being serious. Like I make everything into a joke. So I'm probably gonna be like really awkward because I like want to get everything right. But um, <laughs> it's not gonna work. How are you doing? Did you drink enough water today? You better drink some water right now. I don't have any water with me right now, but I'll be drinking water with you like, in spirit. Today, I wanted to make a video about the advice that I would give my younger self, basically at the start of my transition. As you all know, I am a proud trans woman, Gr girl. I'm 20 now, so I don't know if it's woman or girl. Like, I feel like it's somewhere in between right now. I'm at, at a really weird age. <laughs> so I don't know, you decide for yourself. And I know some fucking transphobe in the comments is gonna be like, me either. <laughs> can you just leave me be? <laughs> can I just have this one thing? So I'm just gonna tell you the advice I would give to my younger self and to all the trans girls starting out their transition, uh, to all the trans girls that are in the middle of their transition, just to trans girls in general, because I'm here for you. Today, I'm your big sister. I'm not your mom, but I am your big sister, you know? And this is advice that I haven't really heard anywhere else, personally. This is also like stuff that I wouldn't have thought of, a while ago i have my laptop here in tradition as usual so i wrote a few points down the first point that i have is set healthy boundaries i've actually had a really hard time doing this because what i mean by this is um you know because transitioning hasn't been um very like well known for that long like it's been in the media f for quite a while but the amount of trans visibility has increased a lot over the years but like there's still a lot of education to do so a lot of cis people feel confused or curious and you know i understand that 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 is natural when you learn about something new and you're curious you want to know about it but Here's the thing, we are not walking science projects. It's up to you if you feel comfortable discussing stuff about your transition. Because I think every single trans girl has gotten questions that have gone way over the line. We are not Google. I'm not Google. Do I look like fucking Google to you? I shouldn't have to explain to people that I'm not close with what my genitals look like. So if you're cis right now, imagine me asking about your genitals and I barely know you. That would make you uncomfortable, right? Well, it might come as a shock to you, but we're people too. <laughs> and it makes us uncomfortable as well. I do discuss that stuff with like my partners, you know, the sexual type, woo, and like my close friends, but I'm not really comfortable discussing that with people that I'm like close with. Uh, and I've done that a lot of times when I wasn't comfortable with it because I just felt like, oh, okay, well, I I guess they want to know and I guess I just have to tell them. But no, you don't. Sis, you don't. You don't have to tell them. You decide what you want to tell and what you don't. We're still people, you know, and it's not our entire purpose to be educational towards cis people. I choose to be open about my transition on the internet but there's a lot of trans people who just want to live their life and who are probably not comfortable with discussing personal stuff like what their genitals look like uh, hormones breast growth whatever you know that's all pretty private stuff so um i s advise you strongly to just respect your own boundaries and um, be assertive and tell people when something is not okay because 
you have boundaries like a normal person like a nor like a cis person fuck normal i'm saying cis from now on big fuck you to internalized transphobia they're cis and there's trans and neither is weird period <laughs> my second point is don't compare your transition to other people's transition now um i'm not saying that i never do this in fact i do this so often so often it makes me super insecure but everyone's transition is so widely different um what i consider transitioning might not be what someone else considers transitioning because for me transitioning is just like the the full package you know i'm currently on the waiting list for gender reassignment surgery but there are trans people who don't want to do every you know every aspect every basic aspect or like whatever you know that is up to everyone there's also non-binary trans people who have a completely different transition it's just personal for everyone and depending on how late in life you start or depending on your genetics like some trans girls pass more and some trans girls pass less i don't get harassed anymore because i generally pass but strong bone structure runs in my family that's why i have like a I have a strong chin and not because of like male puberty but just because it's in my family and that's often what people this really hurts my feelings actually uh i've heard people say like oh wait no i can tell because of your chin and it would be like you just pointed out my biggest insecurity <laughs> thanks but that doesn't make me any less of a woman and i think the whole concept of passability can get so toxic because it's almost like people only respect you if you're passable but they shouldn't they should respect you regardless constantly comparing yourself to other trans girls is not going to make you happy because in the end you are you and your transition is yours and yours to go through and it's your process and everyone's process is different beauty standards for cis women are already brutal so the beauty standards for us are even wilder because if you don't pass a hundred percent someone's gonna have something to say you know someone's gonna have something to say they're gonna be like i can see your brow bone oh i can see your your height you're this you're that and it's exhausting so fuck them <laughs> Fuck that you do you because your transition is yours and transitioning is painful and draining and <laughs> traumatic but it's also beautiful and it's also a beautiful process of you becoming you because that's what it's about and everyone does that on their own terms and in their own way the next point that i have hits really close to home and i think this uh applies to a lot of trans girls because it's basically what we're like taught don't internalize transphobia to please cis people i think internalization is generally a problem amongst discriminated communities you see it a lot with women in general um internalizing misogyny which is a really toxic thing and um a lot of trans people have internalized misogyny i bet you can think of a few people right now i'm not gonna say who because i'm not about the shady life you know <laughs> and i actually have a lot of internalized transphobia still that makes me sound really whiny to cis people because i don't think cis people can grasp how truly fucking awful it is when you've just gotten like a lot of hate and transphobia your way and even like smaller smaller things you you just internalize them and you start believing that you're not worth it that you're not a real woman that you're not this that you're not that um that cis people are normal that you're weird that you're you know that you're less 
valuable than a cis woman, that you're less attractive than a cis woman. You start to believe all these things and they don't do anything good for you. And I've just seen a lot of trans girls on the internet just agree with transphobic cis people in order for them to feel some sort of acceptance from them. It's actually a really sad thing. You've just come to hate yourself so much that you crave the acceptance of people that don't want to accept you, that are not going to respect you, that don't view you as equal. They don't view you as equal. They don't view you as respectable because you're trans. Now, why on earth would you want their validation? Getting their validation doesn't suddenly make you normal. And that's the hard truth. You're still going to be trans, but now you're just going to be trans with people surrounding you who secretly don't even accept you for that. You know, but you're like the exception. They'll make an exception for you. Uh, toxic. Toxic as fuck. Cut that shit out and work on that. It's almost impossible to not develop some internalized transphobia. Also surround yourself with people, trans or cis or whatever, doesn't matter, who are actually accepting of you and who respect your boundaries and who respect your womanhood and who don't question it and who don't make you feel bad about being trans, okay? You gotta promise me. Hi, this is me editing. Um, I'm very aware that this is definitely a privilege um, that not everyone has access to. So I'm aware that this is not easy to achieve for a lot of trans people. And that is where I want to end this video. If you guys want to see a part two, let me know. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear because I would love to hear what you guys would say to your younger selves because I think we can all learn a lot from that. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!